stars John Krasinski and Emily Blunt of A Quiet Place want more money from Paramount according to a person familiar. With the situation, Paramount Pictures is embroiled in a pay dispute with a Hollywood power couple regarding the studio's streaming plans for the forthcoming horror film A Quiet Place Part II. This issue could have an impact on other major stars' earnings. The contract between actor-director John Krasinski and his spouse, actress Emily Blunt, pays them according to how well the movie does at the box office. However, Viacomp's own Paramount has shortened the film's 90-day exclusive run in theaters to 45 days, and it will now open on May 28. During this time, certain theaters will still be running at reduced capacity. To promote its recently launched streaming service, Paramount Plus, the studio is accelerating the movie's online debut. The insider, who wished to remain anonymous while discussing a private topic, stated that the stars are concerned that many potential theatergoers could wait for the movie to be available for home watching, decreasing the box office receipts. In 2018, ticket sales for the original movie A Quiet Place brought in U.S. $341 million globally. Cinema chains are now destined to play a diminished part in how consumers see new films, as a result of the coronavirus outbreak forcing theater closures across the United States. However, as a large portion of Hollywood celebrities Celebrities' income is determined by box office earnings. They may suffer if films are shown on large screens for shorter periods of time. The person said that representatives of the couple and other producers with a vested interest in the film's box office performance, such as director Michael Bay, have requested payment from Paramount and that talks are still going on. However, the studio has rejected them up to now. Paramount opted not to respond. Star's representatives did not return messages. With only a $20 million U.S. budget, A Quiet Place became Paramount's second biggest and most lucrative movie of 2018. One of the biggest films of the previous year for the company was predicted to be the sequel. Only a few days before the coronavirus closed theaters across the globe, Paramount staged a glamorous premiere in New York on March 8. The release has been pushed back three times by the studio. Paramount sold many of their films to streaming platforms as the pandemic worsened. Coming to America was sent to Amazon, and The Love Birds and The Trial of the Chicago 7 were sent to Netflix. However, it hung on to A Quiet Place Part 2 in Top Gun, Maverick in the hopes that those two films would bring in enormous sums of money when theaters reopened. However, rival studios started experimenting with distributing films that were intended for theaters on their own streaming services, while Paramount sold its properties to online channels. Just in time for Christmas, at Antis Warner Media debuted Wonder Woman 1984 on HBO Max, while Walt Disney released Mulan and Soul on home video. Customers may be relieved to learn that theater runs will either be curtailed or eliminated. However, eliminating theaters jeopardizes one of Hollywood's greatest salaries, a portion of box office earnings. A blockbuster film like A Quiet Place may bring in tens of millions of dollars for celebrities like 38-year-old Blunt and 41-year-old Krasinski. Krasinski is the film's director and writer as well. Warner Bros. announcement that it would distribute all of its 2021 film slate on HBO Max concurrently with theatrical releases incited a mutiny among agents and filmmakers. However, as the studio paid its talented filmmakers upfront to make up for the lost revenue, the criticism subsided. As the majority of moviegoers watch Netflix films on the platform rather than in theaters, the company already employs this strategy. Talent receives larger upfront payments from the firm to purchase all of their rights. Viacomps is not required by contract to make additional payments. It does, however, have a stake in the happiness of its celebrities. In addition, Krasinski stars in Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan, a popular Amazon series produced by Paramount Television. Additionally, Paramount has agreed to provide the Epix cable network with its film library in exchange for payment to important players. Among the executives on the actor's team is Mr. Patrick Whitesell, executive chairman of the massive talent agency Endeavor Group Holdings. When asked about Krasinski's salary, he chuckled and said, I wonder what they paid for A Quiet Place 3.